I felt it was my duty as an actor to at least study the work, um, and I, I brought that, I let John know that I was going to do that, and he said, I'm glad you read it. Uh, but, you know, I asked him if he wanted me to incorporate any sort of memories from the novel into Dorian's psyche. And uh, that was, we decided that that wasn't necessarily the most important thing because we were taken in a different direction. But, uh, yeah, it was important, I think, to be aware. I didn't want to be uh, asked the question, so have you read a picture of Dorian Gray and say no? So, you know, <laughs> I, I, I did read it. I love the novel. But, yeah, I think we've taken it in a different direction, and it's something that I think exists in a more natural way in 2014 as well. So. Yeah, I mean, Dorian's kind of a rock star of his era. Well, yeah, can we say, like, some of the references that you gave, John? Yeah, totally. This is like, here's how Dorian Gray evolved. I had in my head Oscar Wilde's Dorian Gray. I had that sort of rarefied dandy in my head, the sort of petulant youth. And it was impossible to cast um, until Reeve Carney walked in, dressed just like that, wearing all of, like, that beautiful silver jewelry his mother makes. And I said, well, that's it. That's Dorian Gray. I have absolutely found Dorian Gray. So the process of working with Reeve, and particularly Gabrielle Pascucci, our brilliant costume designer, what I said to Gabrielle was, rock and roll. Think David Bowie. Think Mick Jagger in a Victorian era. So, so if you like Dorian Gray, that's the man to thank. You know. <laughs>